Good morning and uh, welcome to the Global Rainbow Foundation Web TV. Uh, we have with us Dr. Deepika Devasya Shivaya, yoga and uh, naturopathy consultant. Uh, we also have uh, Dr. Puneet Kumar uh, Bolugalu Padmaya, a forensic expert yes. and assistant professor at Anna Medical College. Yes. And we have Professor Omugam Posuramen, founder president of the Global Rainbow Foundation. Welcome, everyone. Thank you very much, Thank uh, you. Uh, Vinay. And uh, I would like, on behalf of Global Rainbow Foundation, to welcome, uh, first of all, to thank you uh, for being uh, responsible for this program every Friday. And, My pleasure, sir. And, and today we have, uh, we have uh, a special guest, um, Dr. Deepika and Dr. Puneet, a couple who are in Mauritius, and Dr. Puneet is working as forensic uh, uh, lecturer in uh, in Anna Medical College, and uh, Dr. Deepika uh, is not uh, uh, is not actually working in Mauritius, but she has a wonderful uh, background and experience in the field of naturopathy and also yoga. So we are Global Rainbow Foundation have contacted them, and they have both agreed to share their experience with us. And we are very privileged from Global Rainbow Foundation to have with us Dr. Deepika, who is, will be part of the uh, medical team of Global Rainbow Foundation, will provide services in the area of naturopathy and also yoga. And, uh, and more than that, I would see will herself say more what, what she does. But the objective of this program today is to introduce this new initiative of Global Rainbow Foundation to the population, right? And we will already... She has already started seeing patients, right. right, and uh, providing guidance. And, uh, and Dr. Punit also, whenever he can, he joins in the consultation. And we are therefore very grateful to benefit from their experience, right, their wide experience, and also the service that they will offer. I must, uh, I must share with you, Vinay, that personally I've, uh, I've followed my first uh, session uh, with uh, Dr. Deepika and Dr. Pudit. And how is it? I must tell you, the second day that I'm following the advice, I feel better. I, I'm following very, very seriously yes. the prescription they've given me, which is based on naturopathy, which I had, don't have to take any additional medicine. You know, I don't have to do anything complicated. I'm following the very simple advice, like uh, for, my, for my food, for example, instead of having three heavy meal, they've advised me to split it into six small meals, right? All right? And also drinking water, one glass every two hours, that's regularly, in addition to whatever you drink else. So that's the second advice. And the third advice I must say, which is also important, is I used to take yogurt after my dinner. And they've advised that this is not good, based on my condition, my medical status. So I followed that advice also. And the other important thing which I, the, uh, she has advised me to do is in the evening before I go to bed, put warm water in a bucket mm -hmm. and soak your feet there. You, you add to the water Epsom salt, right? And you stay there for 20 minutes. And then you do some breathing exercise before going to bed. I can tell you, after I've done the 20 minute soaking, I feel like flying. <laughs> it makes you light, and in the morning when I get up also, so I it, find it myself... So it's a nice feeling. It's a nice, and also it re-energizes you. Alors, moi, pour dire ça en créole, hein, c'est pour nous un internaute capable de suivre. Chers internautes, <coughs> Global Rainbow Foundation Web TV, Zoji nous peut introduire un nouveau élément dans le service qui nous offert. Alors, c'est que nous avons un grand sens qui est actuellement à Maurice. Il y a un docteur Pounit qui est professeur à l'université Anna Medical College qui peut être un docteur. Et ce madame, docteur Deepika, il est un spécialiste de naturopathie, dans le yoga, et il a même fait acupuncture et ben, les autres traitements bien holistiques. Alors, ça, c'est un domaine naturopathie qui peut-être est à Maurice, mais pas bien connu. Et il y a un bénéfice extraordinaire 
ce, ce, mon poulet ce docteur s'expliquer tout à l'heure et nous avons arrangé qui quand doc, docteur est pour cause en anglais ben là quand je peux causer nous prenons un docteur euh, Divla Autor qui euh, responsable qui est directrice du département médical Global Rainbow Foundation qui pour là ici là il pour et là les pour interpréter en créole faire un résumé en créole pour que la population capable comprend Alors, moi personnellement, moi, je vous dit, moi, j'ai une propre expérience avec consultation que je fais avec le docteur Dipika et le docteur Pounit. Et mon premier, euh, l'expérience que je vous ai est bien, bien encourageante. Alors, je vous donne un conseil basé sur mon medical condition. Ça va bien simple. Comme on pas mange trois repas complets, mais pas tardé en six. Boire de l'eau, un verre de l'eau, sac deux heures temps. Et ensuite aussi, je dis à moi, euh, évite manger à août le soir, à manger la, à lunch ou l'après-midi. Mais le soir, non. Le soir, non. Et l'autre quelque chose qui me trouvait bien, bien utile, c'est mettre mon pied dans une, CO, une, une, une bucket de l'eau, saut, so, warm, qui me tenir, et ajoute des, des cuillères Epsom salt. Et je me dire, quand je fais ça 20 minutes là, je me sens que je lésé. Et après, il fait moi faire un breathing exercise qui est bien, bien simple. Et après, quand je dors, je me suis un bon sommeil. Depuis des jours, je peux appliquer ça, là, je me suis senti la différence. Je peux dire ça, c'est pour partager l'expérience avec la population qui nous a différents types de médecine. Right? Alors, nous, nous, nous explorons. Et ça n'a aucun side effect parce qu'il ne peut pas prendre aucun médicament. Tout ce qui est là, il est bien bénéfique. Ça ne veut pas dire que vous ne pouvez pas prendre de médicament. médicaments. Je peux dire que je continue à prendre des médicaments. Mais, je peux adopter sa, sa méthode-là aussi pour les avoir un supplément et lui demander un additional benefits. Voilà un petit peu en bref, si je suis content de dire. Et la population, ben nous avons ben un je peux gagner accès à ce service-là. Je vous donne pour contacter nous le 164-3103, téléphone, ou je te prends rendez-vous. Et là, nous sommes capables de nous donner un rendez-vous pour nous faire pour les autres soins qu'ils nous offrent. Voilà, merci. Et je vous laisse maintenant continuer, Vinay, avec euh, l'émission. Je vous laisse proceed en attendant que la doctoresse Divla vienne vous nous. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Amugam Paswaman, for this uh, wonderful explanation. Uh, so, we'll start with you, uh, Dr. Deepika uh, Devasya Shivaya. Uh, so, the perception is that yoga is a series of stretches and, you know, poses that you do with uh, breathing techniques. Yes, yes. But Can you say that almost anyone can do it? I mean, regardless of your age, fitness yes. level? Yes. Yeah. First and foremost thing, even I ask everyone, like before um, I um, start any uh, 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 talk about yoga, I just ask everyone what yoga is actually. I get different answers. Like some say it is stretching, some say it is bending, some say it is exercise. Oh, uh, doctor, what kind of exercise yoga is? All those sort of questions different questions and different answers we get from the from many people but what actually yoga is is it really uh, exercise or much more than that for this question I'll just uh, uh, let you make one simple exercise is that okay for you of course yes sure. okay now just close your eyes okay now think of your favorite sweet okay it's color it's te a texture like how do you feel when it goes to your mouth okay now open your open your eyes like you feel salivated right yes just a simple thought makes some effect in your body that is what yoga is yoga is nothing but the connection between your mind and body now you can ask me doctor uh, i have seen i know there is a brain but i have not seen mind can you see mind like, you, can you see my mind Can you see your mind? No, you can see my brain inside, right? You cannot see the mind. Mind is nothing but bundle of thoughts. Just a simple thought. See, this simple thought about the food make you feel salivated, right? Yeah, that is the connection between our mind and body. That is why we say have a positive thought, have a happy thought, because it causes a similar effect in your body. Then if you have a depressed thought or if you have sadness, similar effect will be shown on your body, which is, which is what we call disease. So most of the patient we talk, before telling about their disease, they just tell to me, like, doctor, I have that issue, I'm, the, I'm depressed, I have mental agitation, 
my i'm uh, suffering from that this all those things so that is the main problem which is the cause of all the physical diseases so uh, what i am telling uh, is yoga is good for each and every age groups so starting from so yoga children, for everyone it is for everyone it is for everyone those who have thoughts and those who have body and brain but the question remains why yes. should someone try uh, yoga sorry why should someone okay. try yoga does it help keep your back and joints healthy yes it is for both keeping your mind balanced and both to keep your body fit so you want to be fit practice yoga you want to be composed you want to stay calm practice yoga until unless you practice you will not know the result right see That's true. you get so many advertisement about soaps or something uh, uh, facial products all those things we just buy it we just try it why can't you try yoga it is for good it doesn't have any side effects so yes like anyone can just uh, try yes anyone can try but there are there are certain limitations like few people few ailments that we will when we take patients when we consult them we will come to so know so is it on a case to case uh, yes basis? yes we do therapeutic yoga there are general yoga as well as therapeutic yoga in general yoga it is a group kind of thing we teach them generally like few exercise but there are certain uh, patients or certain gr- group of people they, they they cannot do all the things for example those who are having back pain cannot do certain exercises for them we teach different set of yogas like for other we teach different set of yoga so it is sometimes it is individual or therapeutic basis sometimes it is in a group okay yes in the meantime we have uh, dr uh, divla auto who's just uh, join us uh bonjour uh, good morning uh, dr auto the question is can can somebody do yoga uh, if that person has covid for example yes of course see what happens is as soon as we hear the word covid or if someone say uh, you have covid we get freaked out because of stress first and foremost thing because of stress because of hearing such a uh, word we started getting certain symptoms all right so here first and foremost thing yoga deals with immunity it increases your immunity level and see in covid uh, we deal with the stress related patients the stress that happened due to covid so we deal with such kind of patients and there are certain uh, exercises and certain breathing techniques which help you to increase your lung capacity which helps you to increase your air flow tell us more about those breathing techniques yes. you're just mentioning sure, right sure. now yes there are many breathing techniques one is uh, balancing pranayama see when we do that kind of pranayama it balances your both the hemisphere of the brain that's why it balances your both the body parts when it balances both the part it keeps us uh, remain stress free one is that and certain pranayama called cleansing pranayama it increases the oxygen capacity to your lungs and in, it increases blood circulation to the different parts of your body yes mm-hmm. so you have um, different um, breathing techniques yes we have many breathing techniques which uh, which is depending upon the certain diseases or certain ailments we will uh, teach them maybe dr auto would like to translate Euh, oui, c'est-à-dire ce qui euh, Dr Dipika a fait mentionner, c'est quand on est en Covid, quand une personne est infectée avec euh, coronavirus, il est capable de pratiquer ce yoga. Il n'y a pas qu'il faut dire que quand il est positif, il n'y a pas besoin de faire yoga. Et il y a différents types de respiration et euh, l'exercice que sa personne a besoin de faire. Et bien sûr, il, il est d'après ce qui est sa capacité. Um, Dr. Deepika um, Shivaya, do you need to prepare yourself uh, like mentally or physically? Yes, sure. That is 100% important. As soon as you come, you cannot just say, Dr. do teach something yoga. I have to be fit tomorrow. Like it takes time. You have to be patient enough before you do, if, before you practice any of the asanas. Okay. You have to be patient. That is very important. 
and next thing is there are certain rules you need to follow first thing is you should empty your bowel you should empty your bladder and you should not have food or you should not practice yoga with full stomach okay like uh, there should be gap between your meal and the time of your practice and like an hour yes an hour is uh, ideal and um, you should not wear some tight clothes it will restrict your movements okay and you should uh, um, you should have that kind of mind that whatever doctor will teach you it is for my good i will practice all those things like you will not like come and tell i have to bend uh, i have to get stretching today i have to do this and that we will teach you slowly uh, according to your uh, ailments mm -hmm. yes but can you do yoga in a sitting position for example of course yes we can do like uh, those who have crossed some ages some 50 or 60 we cannot ask them to go run do that jump all those things we cannot tell them they will be having some knee joint issues or uh, some physical ailments where they cannot practice uh, in standing position so for them we can ask them to sit in chair or uh, you're using a mat lie down and we'll teach some exercises or some asanas uh, in a sitting posture or lying down posture uh, would you like to add something, uh, uh, Dr. Puni? Uh, yes, uh, Vinay. The thing is, uh, people who have crossed certain ages, there is something like senile. Senile means aging process. Okay, because of that, their body will not. If adjust. you would like to elaborate on. Yes, they l uh, their body will not adjust to the situation like bending or lying down, whatever it is. Okay, so in them, what happens is they can't do the regular yoga practices. Okay. For them, there is a designed, separate designed yoga practices where they can do it in sitting posture or few, they can't uh, move around, right? For example, the amputees, okay? For them, it is difficult to stand. For them, mm -hmm. it is difficult to sit also in few conditions. So for them, we, they can do the yoga in lying down position and definitely that will help them for, uh, for the amputees, uh, for about as well as for the disability per persons, as well as for the aged persons, all those persons have a different set of designed yoga mm -hmm. where they can practice and they can benefit out of it. Mm -hmm. yes. Because you do have people who cannot sit properly on the floor. Yes. Can the, these yes. people... For them, we will just ask them to lie down on the mat and we will teach them a certain uh, yoga practices in the lying down position itself. Will ask uh, Doctor Outdoor to translate. Okay, uh, so Siki Doctor Deepika, for example, is that yoga is not a naturopath. It is not an art that can be done for the body to finish well the day or the night. So, if the body is tired, it is not like the body is compressed and anti-douleur that can be finished well quickly. It takes a little time, and also the body is not a therapist. It is not a doctor. Qui pour faire quand qui qui a un stage et un principe qui se suivent qui les pousse à nous ok à cela nous pour faire tel euh, tel exercice après ça nous pour faire les autres exercices les d'après nous besoin d'après ça principe là nous pas qu'à faire n'importe comment nous en vie euh, avec un naturopathe. And um, in terms of session, uh, okay. how many sessions are we talking about here? Yeah, uh, it, it depends. Some prefer early morning the sessions, like uh, they prefer early morning thing, and some prefer late evening. But the thing is, uh, we can do morning session also, we can do uh, evening session also, but it is depending upon their time. And, uh, uh, and uh, like if they feel free to do morning, then morning is fine, or if they feel to do evening, evening is also fine. So, we so, can do so one or two sessions? Session. Yeah, one or two session we can do. Not more than that. Not more. Like uh, for per person, you are saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is two is advisable. Not more than that. Like how many t um, times? Uh, uh, one hour. One hour. In morning and one hour in the evening. At least one hour uh, per day is advisable. Once a week or. Yeah, <laughs> the thing is, we should be regular in our practice to get certain benefits. Like you cannot tell that I don't get any results by practicing just one day or two day in a month or one day, two day in a week. You should be regular to your practice. At least one hour a Every day. day. Yes, one hour okay. a day. Two hours in a day is also good. But, but a lot of people will tell you, you know, I don't have any problem. I'm fully fit. Yes. So why should I uh, try yoga? Yoga is not for disease person. 
first and foremost thing yoga is not for disease person it is for each and every one it is just to rejuvenate your body we always say prevention is better than cure right yoga prevents almost all varieties of disease diseases like it helps to restore and regenerate each and every system of your body yeah starting from your digestive system to your nervous system it has its own effects like we have certain asanas for your uh, digestive system we have certain asanas for your uh, pranayama for your nervous system so we have many asanas for each and every system so it is just it increases your immunity as well okay so it will prevent many of the diseases which may come in the future so it is not only for the disease person it is a very misconception that it is for uh, only for the disease person it is for each and every one mm-hmm. yes dr puneet you'd yes. like to add some uh thing is here uh, yoga helps to prevent lot of disease it is already proven scientifically now everybody needs scientific data previously in india back in india we all they were gurus they used to teach all those things without taking any uh, benefits or without knowing uh, talking to everybody or saying that they are the one first to prove all those things but the thing is they used to do it silently they people used to get benefit out of it silently now everybody wants scientific research there are a lot of researchers which proves or says that by doing regular yoga practices a lot of diseases can be prevented can be prevented so that is where we are standing in right now because we are where we are right in right now when we are not taking the healthy food we are not breathing the proper very good air so all those things come in picture and probably our health will be definitely de- uh, depends on yoga also so i am the live example here so i have done my mbbs and md so i am from allopathic background i n- i didn't mm-hmm. trust uh, yoga what it is how it is all those things Yeah, you do have a lot of people who uh, don't trust yes n- right now uh, now also lot of people who are there they just want everything to be cured in one day they come to us for consultation or whatever it is so they just want one tablet or two tablets and they should be ready for their work next day so which is very dangerous thing right now where we have to train them or teach them to their main thing is their mental stability sh- should be they should be known or told that whatever a sudden okay sudden change is always dangerous everything should go step by step see why do you say that it is uh, why, dangerous why because see we give lot of medicines okay so they just want one day cure but it is not so the disease process will take its own course to cure up our body has that mechanism it takes hardly 3 days or 5 days mm-hmm. to cure the normal simple flu simple flu also but they come to us saying that they need a cure within a day because they have a lot of work appointments pending but yoga is not so yoga and naturopathy you have to do r- or practice regularly on regular basis at least one hour that's what the dr deepika told you but right now a lot of people are coming and telling that they don't have even ha- one hour time so what to do with them they can practice half an hour per day half an hour session in the morning half an hour session in the evening they can start with that and then yes, ga- yes. gradually they yes. can increase they afterwards they can slowly start up and ultimately it will benefit them in improving their health that is what they have to understand first and foremost yes it is for all it is for all dr auto oui uh, c'est à dire ce qui je peux redire yoga n'est pas une affaire qui il peut juste pour un jimun malade il peut tout jimun il et nous pour nous système immunitaire et dit et nous à combattre beaucoup de maladies et pour prévenir de maladies aussi et il dit pas une affaire qui nous pour faire aujourd'hui demain nous pour finir gain ce résultat il prend ce les temps tous les jours nous besoin pratique yoga les là après qui nous cave trouve ce ce bienfait et aussi euh, yoga euh, comment nous connaît il y a beaucoup beaucoup ban bienfait qui dit pour et nous Euh, de toute façon, de côté nous la santé, côté nous nous mode de vie, tout à fait. Et ce qui docteur Pounit fait dire, c'est livré. Moi-même, on recevait beaucoup de patients comme ça. 
que beaucoup de gens ont fini quand ils ont une douleur, disons que c'était une douleur bas du dos, c'est pour envie qu'ils ont fini bien tout de suite. C'est envie, ok, nous faisons une injection, nous faisons une piquette, ils ont fini bien. Aujourd'hui, ils euh, ont fait une douleur, là, demain, ils ont fini bien quand ils devaient faire des cartes, ils ont fait des travail. Oui, parce que beaucoup de gens ont envie de être bien, de faire un travail, de faire un bon travail, ça ne interrompt pas euh, votre euh, mode de vie. Mais à ce qui est arrivé, le yoga, euh, li, li pour aider la personne, il peut traiter euh, les choses à fond. Disons, si on a fait un douleur musculaire, ce pas un spasme de ce lower back, mais le yoga li traite ça. Li. Si on vous donne un comprimé, ça il peut juste diminuer la douleur. Il ne peut pas traiter ça, ça spasme qui est dans ce, dans ce muscle-là. Ce qui est pour nous avec euh, des piquants infectieux, c'est que euh, le yoga il prend ce temps, mais il travaille, il ne fait il pas comme un comprimé. Mais euh, et le docteur Pounit il dit un médicament. En vrai, même s'il est bien fort, il fait un effet bien vite, mais il y en a beaucoup ça à faire aussi. Il y en a beaucoup ça à faire qu'arriver, il y a un médicament qui prend, il prend pendant beaucoup de temps qui est bien fort, il affecte euh, les reins et les foies aussi. Mm-hmm. And is it, is it advisable for pregnant women? Yes, it is. But we say, like in the fir- first trimester, we have different set of exercise, I mean asanas, but pranayama can be practiced All, all through the nine months, like f- there are three trimesters, right, in pregnancy, in f- first trimester, second trimester, and third trimester. Like pranayama can be practiced in all three trimesters. Uh, that pranayama is called balancing pranayama and uh, brahmari pranayama, that is humming bri- bhi pranayama. These two pranayamas can be practiced throughout. But asanas, it varies from trimester to trimester. First trimester, we have different set of exercises or asanas. And second trimester it is different, and third trimester is, it is different. And uh, in pregnancy, uh, uh, they will suffer from uh, like uh, some of the people will have some kind of stress, and some will be having like um, ankles uh, mood swings. Yes, mood swings, correct. And uh, some will be having the swelling of their ankles, like all the back pain. So they'll be having all those um, certain symptoms, and we will help them to deal with all those things. When the mood swings, uh, as you said, and we will teach them meditation and uh, like uh, happy therapies to make them happy as well as their baby happy. Yes, uh, we have certain uh, things for uh, pregnancy. Tell us more about the eight limbs of um, yoga. Uh, yes. See, what happens is, uh, uh, when I ask people, why do you want to practice yoga? Yes, of course, the st- uh, stretching, uh, this part is health part, fitness part is different. They say we want to achieve that level, superhuman being level that we should, we will not get any anger or we should not have that emotional outburst. Like we want to keep ourselves calm. That is the answer usually I get. But uh, like many of, like hope you or someone, like many of practiced yoga, at least one or two session. Have you achieved that superhuman level? Do you get angry Someti- uh, sometimes, some of the other times? Yes, we, we get angry, right? Why don't we ha- achieve that superhuman level even practicing yoga? That is because we have to practice it step by step. Just jumping into the superhuman level is not at all the ideal thing. Like There are eight limbs of yoga. We have to practice it one by one. First thing is uh, yama and second one is niyama. That is nothing but rules and regulations. Okay? There are certain rules and regulations in yoga. Once you are thorough with that, then only you can move on to the third step. That is asana. So here the posture, what st- exercise we say, it comes in the third step. So when you are thorough with asana, then you can move on to the uh, pranayamas. That is the breathing technique. Okay. Then, s- then once you are thorough with the pranayama, then you can move on to pratyahara step. Pratyahara is uh, nothing but introspection. So instead of uh, showing five fingers at others, just started pointing at me. Like instead of pointing others' mistake, you have to point your mistakes. So that is pratyahara. In- introspection. Yes, introspection. Once you have that introspection, then you will move on to the next level. That is dharana, nothing but focus. You will gain focus. Okay. So once you gain focus, then what do you mean by gain focus? Like you will, you will have concentration, mm-hmm. good uh, willpower. That is nothing but dharana. 
okay so once you are thorough with will power concentration or focus then you can move on to the other level that is dhyana dhyana is nothing but meditation so once you are thorough with the meditation then of course you will move on to the final superhuman state that is samadhi samadhi yes. the final the final state is outcome is samadhi only once you are thorough with this then only you can reach that superhuman state ecstatic state samadhi and, uh, and how yes. do you feel when you reach that that samadhi state i don't know because i haven't <laughs> reached that state yes but i have uh, heard those who have reached that state they say it is a complete balanced level you will not uh, you will not feel like if you say something i will not uh, what what do you say uh, i am attached yes i will not get affected by that i will i am i stay unattached so whatever it is i stay unattached yes doctor how to say si ki pe ja in a with stage de yoga sakan in a li commence pa ya ma la ya da ni ya ma asan pranayam pratiyah pratihara dharana dhyana and samadhi samadhi se ko and jimundi achieve the sadhya ko jimula li li commence faire ce méditation et li pena aucun attachement avec man émotion émotion et disons and jimun li pa en colère li pena aucun n'importe qui peut dire li pa pour faire une belle réaction li pa affecté ça c'est plutôt quand li fini gain ça samadhi là mais il y a pas rob ce qui dit à nous il y a pas rob un jimun pas trop gain oui ce qui nous fait comprendre c'est que même la doctoresse aussi pas fin à atteindre sa 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 stade ça oui exactement donc elle a bien tigui du monde qui arrive dans, à à ce niveau là si oui. si nous peut comprendre oui. bien d'accord uh, we shall now take a short uh, commercial break and we will be back soon Les amputations des pieds diabétiques sont de plus en plus fréquentes à l'île Maurice. La Global Rainbow Foundation veut freiner cette dangereuse tendance. Nous avons ainsi ouvert un foot care clinic pour vous offrir une expertise médicale. Nous vous aidons dans la prévention du pied diabétique, le traitement de vos programmes de circulation sanguin, ulcère du pied ou même traitement des ongles épais, incarnés ou des callosités et bien d'autres problèmes de pied. Prenez vos rendez-vous sur le 283-02-29 ou le 525-61-419. À la Global Rainbow Foundation, nous pensons qu'une bonne santé peut sauver des vies. Nous offrons des consultations médicales, des sessions de physiothérapie, un soutien psychologique des services en orthophonie, des examens ECG, BP, BMI, RBS, cholestérol, le dépistage du cancer du sein, des soins des pieds et pansements des plaies, une audite d'accessibilité, la télémédecine, le traitement du pied beau et la formation à la gestion des handicaps. Le Rehabilitation and Treatment Center, RTC de la GRF, aide les personnes en situation de handicap ainsi que les groupes vulnérables à atteindre le plus haut niveau possible d'indépendance physique fonctionnelle et cognitive. Nous vous garantissons une approche holistique, 10 ans d'expertise, nous écoutons et nous soignons. Retrouvez-nous à Petit Raffray, Belle Rose et Maïbourg. Vous pouvez nous appeler sur le 283 02 29, sur le 5 433 86 86 ou encore au 5 764 88 82. Welcome back to the Global Rainbow Foundation uh, Web TV. So we were talking with Dr. Deepika Devasya uh, Shivaya about uh, the benefits of uh, yoga. Uh, one would like to know, when do you actually start uh, practicing yoga? I mean, if some, let's say a child at the age yes. of five, is it okay? Yes. Uh, like, uh, for children, there are different set of, that is what I always say, for different age group, for different type of disease or for different conditions we have different set of yoga obviously after five you can practice yoga 
So Set even it. at the age of, uh, I mean, at the age of three, is it? Three, uh, we can teach them basic exercises, but that doesn't require for them because they play a lot. They will be having physical activities. They uh, eat nice food, uh, nutritious food. Usually, uh, uh, mother will give them. So there is no need of uh, stretching too much for them to practice yoga. Like very young. So age. the best age to best start. Best ideal age is five years. Five years. Yes. And let's just uh, is it? I mean, someone who cannot practice yoga at all. Yes, there are uh, certain contraindications. Uh, for example those who are having uh, uh, any issues related to their uh, heart or uh, those who are uh, uh, having any issues uh, of hernial hernia conditions and uh, uh, certain uh, severe lung diseases or certain tumors brain tumors or certain conditions we cannot uh, teach uh, them certain asanas but of course pranayama and meditation can be practiced by everyone Yes. So, pranayama, uh, basically, you're talking about the breathing, breathing technique. technique. It Do can be practiced by everyone. Mm. Doctor yes. Auto. Uh, yoga, you can commence à partir de l'âge de 5 ans. D'ailleurs, dans ban ban pré primaire qui ban a commencé à faire ban enfants faire yoga. Mais nous pena aucun date, aucun âge que tu as terminé. Ça lui dépend l'autre personne là même. Mais sinon, il y a une personne qui ne pas qu'à faire yoga dépend les autres si il y a un problème cardiaque ou bien problème les autres poumons, disons ban lung fibrosis ou bien ban brain, ça veut dire ban ban cancer tout ça là. Il y a un stage que tu vas pas capable de faire ban ban asan ça veut dire ban yoga l'exercice là mais ce qu'on fait à breathing exercise respiration ça n'est pas pour qui du monde n'est pas pour qu'on se capable de faire des we shall now talk about uh, naturopathy yes. uh, tell us a bit about it yes uh, the word naturopathy itself has uh, the term nature so the uh, naturopathy treatment depends on nature what and what and all things elements we get it from the nature we use that to treat the patient one thing second thing is it is non invasive like we do not cut uh, open the patient or treat them we do not do any uh, kind of uh, invasive practices and third thing is it is self healing process okay like in naturopathy we say body heals itself by providing supportive environment to it so in naturopathic treatment we provide supportive uh, environment to the body to heal itself and here we do not give any kind of internal medications yes no internal, internal medication only through external treatment only through the natural elements we treat the disease what do you mean by natural elements yes see uh, we say there are five important elements in the nature that is water air um, earth uh, fire. fire and uh, akash akash is nothing but emptiness so using these elements we treat the uh, person yes dr mm -hmm. auto Oui. Naturopathe, nous connaît docteur Dipika, un naturopathe. Naturopathe, c'est une façon de traitement. Si je pas servi aucun médicament, je pas servi aucun ban façon invasive, comment faire ban injection, rien, je pas faire ban affaire là. Je te fais un self healing, ça veut dire que je te là, li guérit lui même par le cinq éléments qui nous est là de l'eau, la terre l'air euh, du fait et euh, les ciels ou bien emptiness comme on dit sky et euh, aussi euh, pour ce façon de vivre et façon de manger comme ça naturopathe lui fait le traitement de la personne would like to hear uh, dr punit uh, anything you'd like to say about uh, naturopathy uh, naturopathy is the thing uh, what we uh, being a uh, allopathy doctors we treat the diseases or ailments by giving tablets Yes. Okay, we definitely we at least prescribe at least one tablet tablet that is for sure being a allopathy doctor but in naturopathy what they no tablet is, there is no tablet there is no tablet involved they use the nat whatever elements is elements are available in the nature they just modify then they treat it that's how it is that is what naturopath is mm -hmm. and uh, 
what is our body made up of and how will you uh, treat the body in yes, uh, yeah. naturopathy? That is what. There are, fi- I have already told you that five elements in the nature, the same five elements are there inside us. Five as well? Yes. See, one is uh, you take water. Yeah, uh, we have blood. That is a water property, yes. And of course, our uh, body is made up of 75% of water. water. Mm-hmm. Next, earth. This muscle, we say it is earth property. Okay, muscle bones, it, is, it has earth property. We have collected it from the earth. And space, that we have hollow organs. For example, our stomach is a hollow organ, right? We have empty space in that. Next, air, yes. We breathe, we, there is air inside, right? And fire, what is fire? Do we have fire inside? Yes, that is metabolic, metabolic fire, what is it? Combustion fire. Due to meta, Meaning? see, uh, due to, um, uh, like, to produce food. There are different activities takes place inside our body. Various mm. enzyme activities takes mm. place inside our body. This produces little bit of heat inside our body. We, we say, uh, uh, certain kind of heat, that heat is nothing but fire property in the body. Mm-hmm. So using, uh, these are the five elements inside our body. So using the nature's element, we treat, for example, water tre- uh, element, hydrotherapy. Using hydrotherapy, using water, we treat the patient or, or uh, any ailment. And earth you, means using mud, we treat. Next, space, emptiness, means that is pranayama. When you're telling me that you use mud, yes, uh, could you uh, kindly elaborate on that? Sure, sure. See, mud has its own property. It has minerals in it, mm-hmm. like sulfur, zinc, magnesium, bromium. These are the minerals present in the mud. So when we apply it on our body, we apply it locally or to the whole body. When we apply it to our whole body, our body absorbs certain amounts of minerals out of that mud and uh, it helps to um, remove the dead skins of the body. It helps to uh, restore, I mean, it helps to rejuvenate your body. It he- helps in relieving the pain. Like we give hot mud as well as we give cold mud treatment. So cold mud for your abdomen, it improves your digestion. Cold mud for your eyes, it rejuvenates your face. And hot mud to your joints, it helps to heal the rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis or any painful condition. This is how mud therapy works. And air, obviously pra- breathing techniques we teach. And fire, that is sauna bath, sun bath, uh, steam bath, all these uh, things are from the fire element. This is how five elements inside and five elements outside. And with that five elements, sorry, we treat the uh, patient. We'll be more than happy to hear your translation, <laughs> Dr. Alka. Okay. Uh, c'est que l'Ibedia, c'est nous les colles, il fait avec cinq éléments. Cinq éléments, euh, comme on m'a mentionné, c'est nous euh, l'air, euh, du fait, euh, l'espace, euh, la terre et de l'eau. Comme on nous connaît, nous, l'école, il fait 75% de l'eau, il est là. Et les larges, les larges viennent euh, dans nos poumons, nous sommes dans l'air. Nous avons des failles qui viennent, euh, des failles qui viennent dans le métabolisme, parce que nous avons beaucoup d'enzymes dans nos l'école qui font le métabolisme. Euh, par exemple, euh, quand nous mangeons, Comment nous manger, digérer, c'est le ben métabolisme qui fait ça, manger là, digérer. Là, là, dans ce cas-là, c'est euh, Fire qui vient activer ce métabolisme-là. Comme ça, nous avons nous, cinq éléments qui, qui donnent les cours. Alors, ça, ben, là, dans naturopathe, je vais servir ces cinq éléments-là pour guérir la personne. Disons, un du monde, euh, il y a du lait ou bien un, 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 un euh, para. Euh, disons ce lipier est pa- euh, paralysé à ce moment-là il servit hydrothérapie nous avons aussi euh, il servit la terre c'est-à-dire il servit la boue pour euh, faire ben euh, traitement comme en rhumatisme il servit la boue ch- chaude pour faire ça soit il servit l'air comme en respiration euh, pour un peu ben traitement et non nous servit estime ou bien sauna pour faire un peu ben traitement dans forme de diffé comme on dit à nous mm-hmm. and what are the principles of uh, naturopathy uh, treatment? Yes, there are six major principles of naturopathy. First thing is we do not harm, like we do not cut open the body, so we do not harm. Next, second thing is... So we no surgery you No mean. surgeries, no surgeries. Next, second thing is we just identify the cause underlying the disease. 
for example if you come with a cough we just uh, try to know what is the reason for that cough we, we just do not treat the symptoms we just treat the cause as well next we treat the person as a whole for example we do not treat one hand we do not treat the other hand we do not treat other leg if you come to me i'll treat your whole body okay next uh, we use the healing power of nature that's what i said five elements mm -hmm. next F uh, physician as a teacher like if someone come to me i will not do some five or 10 minutes consultation about the disease i ask them the whole history okay a brief consultation like about their food about their sleep about their uh, bowel movements about their mental issues also so we will talk to them as a friend and as a teacher and finally prevention we, we will t um, prescribe certain treatment so that it will um, boost their immunity and it will help them to overcome the disease present and also the, the disease which may come in the future so these are the six principles mm -hmm. yes Naturopathe a six principles, c'est à dire je ne pas faire aucun dimanche, je ne vais pas couper, je ne vais pas, comment le mot dire, ni pas invasive. Euh, et je, je traite non seulement le symptôme, disons, je ne vais pas faire du lait, 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 en tout même disons les bagages c'est un douleur euh, la main ou bien les pieds les pas pour distraire ça la main les pieds là mais les pour la personne en entier et aussi euh, comment on dit nous on y fait une consultation les démonies ce ce tout ce tout même système côté ce sommeil côté ce digestion côté ce euh, toileting tout système les démonies un un history de ça et aussi les prévenir ban maladie les traiter d'une façon qui les pour prévenir ban maladie Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to okay. add something uh, uh, on this? Yes. Uh, first and foremost, the first principle, uh, what she said, we do not harm. That means to say, it is not only about surgery also, but it's not only not only about that. We, being allopathy or other treatment, uh, other set of medicines, we give uh, tablets. Correct. Each and every tablet what they take has one or the other side effect either it may be minimal or it may be maximal okay so that is one thing where mm -hmm. in naturopathy or yoga and naturopathy naturopathy treatments there are no intake of any medicines so obviously all those all those side effects can be neglig uh, neglected in them there won't be any side effects that is the one thing i can add on to it other than that anyway they have already explained to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how uh, how can yoga and uh, natural uh, pathy? Uh, how is it um, how is it any different from other um, uh, system of uh, medicines? Yes. Uh, first and foremost thing is we do not give any medications internally. That's uh, the main difference. That is the main difference. And uh, second thing is we use nature's uh, elements to treat the disease. Then you can ask me. Even in Ayurveda, they use na nature uh, elements to heal the patient. Yes, of course, they use the nature. So, what's the difference? Yes, the difference is they give internal medications. Yes, they give tablets, natural, uh, I mean, uh, made up of uh, natural elements. Like, yes, they give tablets and they even do certain surgeries. Even Ayurveda doctors do surgeries. But here, we do not do any kind of surgeries. We do not prescribe any internal medication and we believe that food is a medicine okay so we uh, um, uh, we tell the people like what amount of food we should take and uh, what are the nutritious food to be taken so through the food we will help them to deal with the diseases and uh, that is how we are different from other system of medicine but how uh, for example how um, yoga and uh, naturopathy how how does it help to ma maintain a healthy lifestyle? Yes. Um, see, first thing is, it doesn't have any side effects. And second thing is, uh, we deal, first we will talk to, uh, see, what we say is, all the disease starts from our mind. Then it, radi uh, it starts um, showing up in your body. 
right mm -hmm. so first thing we will talk to them about their mental conditions and we will help them to deal with those mental conditions and mental agitations okay that most of the system doesn't do i'm not uh, denying uh, i mean not putting other system down or i'm not saying our system is good no it is not like that we do have certain limitations like during certain emergency condition like we cannot do anything like uh, if there is some emergency some uh, cardiac arrest or some has happened and patient will come to know i cannot do i have to t uh, send them to the allopathy so mm -hmm. even i have certain limitations in our system has see, certain limitations so you work in collaboration with yes see uh, collaborating every system of medicine is important what that is what i like to say because even they have certain uh, limitations even we have certain limitations once we uh, complement uh, yes complement each other then we can give a better healthier uh, lifestyle healthier uh, um, environment health to the to everyone that is what i would like to say doctor out of okay uh sekili janu uh, yoga e naturopath li traite la person uh, li commencer par en façon de mental c'est dire si di mon la mentalement li senti li bien uh, logiquement ce les cours si li pou senti li assez bien si di mon la heureux li calme li li, li, li in a very peaceful mind li, li pou correct li pou senti li bien mais euh les gens aussi qu'il y a beaucoup de limitations c'est un jumeau une vie n'est pas capable de pas traiter avec naturopathe c'est à dire pour bien n'importe comment du monde là vous avez un traitement invasif pour nous cave nous cave réanimer la personne et euh i would like to ask you something uh, what if uh, as you said uh, it uh, it's more preventive uh, naturopathy is more yes. preventive and yoga yes. therapy is more preventive yes. what about if someone uh, because i have many patients like this okay. who has very high bp yes. but it's still they do not take their medication yes. they they count on uh, natural remedies yes. like food this kind of thing yes. at this stage don't you think that uh, the chronic high bp uh, will affect their other organs like heart, uh, yes. kidney, other organs if they only uh, control by food and not the medication. Yes. See, I will not advise such people to take uh, only the naturopathic medicines. They have to take certain tablets. See, if it goes beyond, it will not in our control. They has they have to take the tablets. So for such people, uh, so uh, for such patients, what would I suggest is take tablet there is no wrong in taking tablet because instead of uh, uh, instead of not taking the tablet they may get some other um, problems. yes problems uh, out of that so you just take tablet as well as you do certain exercises certain um, things because they yes we do have certain limitations once it cross the limit we cannot do anything it is not in our hand they uh, in for certain people they have to take the tablets along with the tablet they uh, we will help them to change their lifestyle some lifestyle modification some food modification that will help them to prevent the further progress of the disease yes uh, c'est qui docteur difficulty à nous que uh, les bons qui se tout connaît qui et dans ce ban stage qui nous cave service naturopathe et dans certains stages qui du monde les besoin service ban médicament plus naturopathie ça dire nous pas cave service en seul en salle donner l'exemple alors oui. un patient qui est en high bp oui exactement disons un du monde si qui est dans ce tension faux si du monde là pas fait prendre ce médicament juste il peut contrôler avec ce manger il pas pour contrôler assez assez bien les besoin prendre ce médicament plus il fait ce naturopathe ça dire d'après comment je dire que de se manger ce cinq éléments qui les pour les pour traiter Il peut ça de la moche en, ensemble et là qui dit mon lacave gain un bon guérison et un bon traitement. And uh, also one question yes. I, I have: uh, There are many people who think that uh, if they have advanced stage disease like mm -hmm. cancer, yes. which has already metastases, yes. uh, what do you advise to that kind of people? Some they, even if the doctor said, okay, you need to go for a surgery, you yes. need to do radiotherapy or chemotherapy, but still they are not willing to do that. They are willing to go to, go to natural uh, yes. remedies. See, once they have reached certain stages. We can we can just help them to cope up with the symptoms. We cannot treat the disease permanently. Okay, for them I suggest just what your doctor says is best for you. Do that, but along with that we have designed certain techniques in meditation and pranayama called MSRT, Mind Sound Resonance Technique, 
that will help them to overcome the stress they are facing due to that diseases and that will help them to give a balanced or peaceful mind ce qui dit à nous c'est comment moi tu peux dire c'est le deux qui travaille ensemble c'est qui quand un médecin peut dire à nous qui oui ou besoin faire une opération ou bien ou besoin faire un chimio ou bien radiothérapie nous besoin aller de l'avant avec l'opinion de médecin traitant et aussi nous servir naturopathe pour aider ces gens là pour pour guérir un peu plus vite et euh, pour garder ce, ce pour diminuer ce stress pour garder ce mental uh, peace uh, et balance normal et pour faire des côté se manger côté ce tout bonnes affaires naturopathe qui pour jouer un jouer ensemble avec uh, les autres traitements là mm-hmm. see what i suggest is see once we reach certain stages yes we are bit helpless mm-hmm. but we can prevent this disease from the beginning so yes. by doing yoga and that is what i am stressing out again and again why prevention we, is better yes, than prevention is better than cure, cure. Yeah. this it 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 doesn't have any side effects it will not cost you much yes okay so why can't you uh, do certain simple pranayamas certain simple meditate uh, meditation practice and uh, why can't you take certain simple uh, naturopathic treatments so that it will not um push you to that level or uh, to that kind of diseases uh, may yes. i ask um dr um dipika shivaya yes. uh, what medical um diseases are treated by uh, naturopathy yes certain acute conditions like uh, we cannot treat yeah, but uh, like you mentioned earlier yeah for example if someone comes with a high fever or uh, with a certain inf- infection or inflammation like uh, uh, that you won't be able to uh, which which needs sudden medicines mm-hmm. okay uh, sudden care uh, should be taken for such cases that we cannot do it because our system is slow subtle but mm-hmm. even though it is slow and subtle it is permanent so but certain uh, long term illness sorry slowly but surely yes yes <laughs> but long term illnesses we cannot we can treat definitely we can treat all the arthritis we can treat migraine sinusitis especially female disorders chronic, obesity chronic yes chronic conditions we can treat better chronic conditions and for example yes we have limit that's what i said someone has met an accident and come to me no i cannot deal with that they have to go to certain emergency centers and what about people yes. who want to gain weight or lose weight yes. can it be treated see uh, as soon as we wish people or we see people they'll ask one question did you have food did you have lunch did you have dinner but no one will ask you how much to eat what to eat and how to eat we tell them how to eat what to eat and how much to eat see uh, nowadays we are seeing more and more obesity cases one is mainly due to lifestyle disorders we keep on eating uh, uh whatever we get to our hand been cheating we watch movie we eat we do that activity we eat we do not restrict food for one particular time we eat every time okay so, so how to eat yes how to eat we should eat properly to the regular interval of time we should eat colorfully colorful in the sense not uh, burger pasta pizzas all those things colorful means colored with fruits and vegetables but once in a while we can have once a in a while <laughs> yes you can have a cheat meal no issues once in a while but most of the time you should have a, a nutritious meal and sometimes the obesity may be due to some thyroid issues or some pcod issues mm. we will treat those conditions we have very good set of treatments for pcod and thyroids but can can naturopathy um help someone to gain weight or lose weight yes yes it will it will we have certain set of treatments for uh, weight gaining and we, uh, as well as losing your weight dr auto yeah. ouais. euh ce qui dit genou euh naturopathie li li pas traite en jimun de en euh acute condition ça dit c'est une fait accident venir en fracture il pas qu'à traite ça dit Il est très mal personne dans une chronique condition, c'est-à-dire disons un jeune qui est en rhumatisme, c'est un osteoporose euh, ou bien même un diabétique, un ben tout ben ce qui est chronique ou bien thyroid disease, nous avons ben PCOD, c'est-à-dire polycystic ovarian syndrome qui est beaucoup ben jeune fille et non aujourd'hui et nous avons ben thyroid disease aussi, ça c'est beaucoup ben personne qui euh, souffre de problèmes de thyroïde, tout ça les traiter. Donc, de quelle façon les traiter, c'est 
il dit à nous, il dit comment pour vivre, comment pour manger, et qui qui besoin manger, combien besoin manger, de qui intervalle besoin manger, ne pas qu'avoir des crèmes manger, manger, manger même, nous besoin manger des affaires qui colorful, ce qui est génial, ce qui est un peu couleur, comment comment légumes, comment man fruits, tout cela, et euh, nous pas besoin manger des affaires comment man euh, burger, man pasta, man 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 euh, fast food, nous besoin éviter et nous besoin mener une la vie euh, très un mode de vie très sain et équilibré. But I would like to ask you one thing. Yes. You said we need to eat lots of fruits and vegetables, yes. but these days there are lots of pesticides also yes. in the in the yes. vegetables. Uh, so are you suggesting bio? Uh, yes, vegetables? yes, <laughs> that is the only option we have. We have to go for but the organic. It's, it's kind it's of a bit cost. Yeah, yes. it's expensive, and but not um, everyone yeah. will afford will it. Offer it. Yeah. Then we can go for some lentils, pulses, okay, sprouts, okay. all those things. Okay, that can be done. So. If I correctly understand, you you monitor the diet of a person. Yes, I we do. See, uh, it is also something related to fasting. Also, we have one more therapy called fasting therapy. Fasting. Whenever we hear the word fasting, you don't think that I'll put you uh, with no food, no water. It is not like that. See, we have a, a Sanskrit uh, shloka. It says. Sarva Rogha Malavasha Langhanam Parama Aushada. That means all disease is due to accumulation of toxins. And clearing the toxin itself is a health. Okay. So uh, we monitor patients' diet by giving certain uh, certain tips to them. Like first we will ask them what are the diets are you following? Then we find any faults in that. We will tell them like if you if someone is suffering from some disease, we will we have different set of uh, uh, diet uh, and uh, certain home remedies. We will tell them, okay. And in fasting, we will uh, if fasting is not only for uh, weight reduction. Some say fasting is only for weight reduction. No, it is for rejuvenation of health. Okay. See, so for example, uh, we have certain energies in our body, right? So uh, digestion happens because of some energy. So uh, respiration happens because of some energy. So all the healing happens because of some energy in our body, right? So, so whatever food we eat, if we keep on eating so many food, the energy will go only for digestion. It will not go for any other activities of the brain. So when we cut down the food, the energy will also move towards healing. Energy is, uh, will also move towards for a nervous system, so other system also. So it will help you to have a better and better health. Ce qui dit à nous que maladie là, quand un jour une malade, c'est quand il y a beaucoup de toxiques. Euh, man, man truc, une accumulation, euh, man une accumulation de toxines. Alors, c'est naturopathie, c'est de clear sa bande toxines là. Il faut éliminer sa bande là, de faire une façon de vivre qui dit moula pour clear sa bande toxines là. Après, il faut bien dire dit moula, même il y a une énergie, il y a une bande d'énergie qui est pour guérir lui-même. Mais si il arrive, c'est un dit moula reste manger, manger, manger même. Mais il n'y a pas réussi sur toute l'énergie, puis il y a à manger, puis il y a à manger là, mais il n'y a pas réussi à faire des autres bandes après, il n'y a pas réussi Guéri même. Mm -hmm. But let's just say, um, Dr. Shivaya, I don't have any problem, I'm healthy. Uh, can yoga or naturopathy or even medication, can that still help me? Yes. We don't want you, want you to get sick in future. We don't know what is going to happen in future because of the lifestyle we are uh, having now. We have irregular sleep, we have irregular uh, food habit, we have we eat uh, plenty of junk food, we don't get pure water, we don't get pure air. We may get some disease in future, we don't know, hope so, no one should get that. But because of our sedentary lifestyle, we are moving towards, yeah, not a good path, okay? You so mean eating habits? Yes. We are not following proper eating habits. We are not following proper sleep. So, we will help you to uh, deal with all those issues so that in future you will not, uh, you, you will stay happy in future also. Uh, and I'm sure most viewers uh, would like to know uh, in, in terms of sleep, yes. eight hours of sleep, is yes. it good? It is not like how much you sleep, you should sleep, have a productive sleep. 
Some, what do you mean by productive? Some speaker? like someone will have. For you, just better ask this question with him because uh, he has very good explanation about sleep. Can you please? Yeah. He then I will continue. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Yes, uh, coming to that point, yes, yes. Uh, she rightly pointed out it's me. I can sleep just here also, just by putting my head onto this table within one to two minutes I'm out. That's what my sleep is and few will not even get a good sleep lying down on the bed, comfortable couch. Few will get sleep even when standing. So it is what it is, that's what she meant. It is the productivity that matters. Productivity means without any tension without any stress without thinking about anything else if you so it does not matter whether you are sleeping for 6 hours or 8 matter. hours it doesn't matter it everything depends on person to person for example you can ask prime minister modi he speaks he sleeps hardly 3 hours but still he is the prime minister of india so you might ask how is it relevant how can he manage that that's why i said it is not a, a number it is the a productivity quality of, quality of sleep the productivity of the sleep which matters and which is unique to individuals so it they'll have to come up with a number how much no, but you're you talking require. about productivity yes. of the sleep yes. Uh, yes could you kindly explain yeah productivity in the sense there won't be any stress as soon as they go to bed without any stress without thinking about anything else they should get the sleep and how to get out of the sleep as for example they sleep for five hours they get out of the sleep completely mm. after that they don't feel like sleeping mm. again and they just start get up fresh and they start doing their work that is what i meant about productivity see for example if you sleep for eight uh, hours you get up even though after eight hours of sleep you feel like uh, lazy or if you Weak. again yes want to go to bed why is that it happens because of stress because of body aches or issues okay it happens okay that is not a good sleep. Even though you sleep for 8 hours, it is not a good sleep. If you sleep peacefully for 5, 6, 7 hours also, it is fine. Yes. Kindly explain uh, right. to our viewers. Ce uh, malade, je ne sais. Uh, de nos jours, nous avons besoin de prévenir un malade. C'est par façon de vivre, façon de manger, façon comment nous dormir. Quand nous dormons, par exemple, quand nous avons besoin de dormir 8 heures, tant, tous les jours, qu'il est obligé qu'il vit 8 heures, on parle de dormir, euh, 10 heures, on parle de dormir, 6 heures, on peut lever. Non, c'est pas comme ça. C'est façon ce qu'il peut dormir. C'est ce qualité en vie sleep. C'est comment qui qualité de sommeil il peut gagner. Si un jour, ce sommeil peut casser, casser entre en, tous les jours, ça coûte les dormir comme ça. Il n'est pas pour sentir bien quand il peut lever. Mais si un jour, il peut dormir. 6-3 heures, ou bien 6-5 heures, ou bien il dormit dans un sommeil très profond. Et quand il lève, il sent bien, il sent fresh, il n'y a pas de douleur, il n'y a pas de faiblesse, il n'y a pas de la fatigue. C'est aussi un petit la peine en stress aussi. Oui, exactement. Du monde là, d'habitude, qui fait un, qui bande du monde qui gagne un bon sommeil comme ça, c'est bande du monde qui est peinant, qui stresse, qui bande du monde qui, si qui, disons un du monde qui fait une bien fait ce exercice, soit des cas d'homme, mais c'est un du monde qui ne mange extra beaucoup et il peut vivre une vie bien sédentaire, des des deux chez qui pas pour cas d'homme assez bien ou bien des beaucoup stress, il pense beaucoup de travail, des allez pas d'homme assez bien et ça lui affecte du monde là ce ce la santé à long terme. Docteur Punit. Uh, but Maya, uh, what medical conditions are treated at um, the Global Rainbow Foundation? Okay, you would uh, like to talk about that? Uh, yes, definitely, because uh, there is a false notion saying that it is only for amputees. Global Rainbow Foundation is only for amputees or disabilities. Yes, they look mainly into that globe. They do all the social works in relation to the amputees as well as disabilities and old age people who require a quality of life who require a helping hand yes they are the helping hand but here they treat other than those as well that is what uh, people are not aware of here there are doctors there are uh, physician there is a physician there is an occupational therapist there is a psychiatrist there is a psychologist there is a massage therapist there is a physiotherapist so it is like a one umbrella uh, mm -hmm. Everybody are available here and un under one umbrella and people who if you require a higher level of consultation like say you need an orthopedician, you need a surgeon, even they will come here on prior appointments. So it is not like that you have you have to you have come you have to come to Global Rainbow Foundation only for if you are 
amputee if you have if you are a disability person or if you are a old age it's not so anybody and everybody can come here not only for the treatments for rejuvenation as well so that is what the message i want to uh, give it to all mauritians where uh, this uh, notion should go and everybody can come here to for their for improving their health for the future for the benefit of the future and and what would you say how different is uh, the global rainbow foundation yeah, global if rainbow. you compare it to other centers for example uh, yes uh, as i said uh, if you go to some other uh, center where you'll be getting i'm sure you've been to a lot uh, yes, even in I've india been, yes even in india back in india we have i have been but here all are uh, like they are lovable and they are their motto is to help others okay and here in global rainbow foundation we do have people who are volunteered to work for the benefit of the society starting from the founder armugam sir he is the one who is the stepping stone from him who is here who is working here as a volunteer they all have one motto whoever comes here we should give our best to treat them and make them happy for their happiness to and for their family happiness of the family as well as in turn they say uh, you you have to uh, set or you have to make or uh, you have to add drop by drop to make it as a c similarly here being a um, being in mauritius they all work to improve each and every individual to make the entire mauritius a healthy and happy person or happy family mm -hmm. that's what as uh, what i uh, suggest everyone to at least come and visit and look into it what they are doing what work what social uh, welfare activities they are doing it yes mm -hmm. dr auto Euh, c'est nous service en global rainbow foundation ni non seulement pour une personne euh, handicapée ou bien ben une personne avec une euh, disabilité non seulement pour une personne amputée mais il pour toute une personne nous avons une thérapeute nous avons une kiné nous qui nous nous ergothérapeute justement euh, docteur oui. Poulip peut dire qu'il y a dans sa perception là oui. et dans sa une tendance pour associer Global Rainbow Foundation Exactement. avec amputation. Oui, beaucoup de personnes se pensent qu'il existe du monde qui avec une disabilité qui est en vie ici. Les autres personnes non, ne sont pas en vie. Mais non, nous accueillons tous nos bonnes personnes. Nous venons nos bonnes thérapies qui euh, côte nous travaillent côte nous, nous nous faire tout pour n'importe qui personne qui est en difficulté. Nous guette euh, même bonnes du monde qui a un problème de cette côte vertébrale. Beaucoup bonnes types de réhabilitation qui nous fait et non seulement euh, bonnes personnes euh, amputées. Oui. Et nous tous, ben, le staff de Global Rainbow Foundation et même M. Mugampo se ramène, nous tous nous comme une famille qui nous fait ce travail-là, moi aussi comme un bizarre, et il y en a beaucoup qui travaillent comme volontaires même, qui, pour nous faire le travail qui nous peut faire à seul. Mais nous parlons de gens avec des disabilités. Oui. Comment peut la naturopathie ou même le yoga aider dans ce cas La première chose que nous devons faire, Uh, we need to deal with their mental condition because they feel that uh, they feel guilty about what has happened to them they feel that uh, they'll be uh, they will be having lack of self confidence about themselves okay first and foremost thing we have to tell them that we have to tell them to overcome all these issues what they are facing in their uh, mind and second thing they will be having lot of pain Uh, uh concern to the body so we, we we have certain set of treatment which will help them to overcome certain uh, uh, pains and third thing is uh, uh they'll be having certain uh, side effects because of the tablets they are taking uh, for example constipation or uh, uh, headaches all those things so we how do you deal with yes that? we will deal with uh, our uh, we have certain set of treatments to deal uh, certain uh, symptoms and finally uh, like we cannot ask them to go stand practice do that do this all those things we cannot tell them so for them we have uh, sitting uh, exercises we have them lie down exercises so we will help them to deal uh, with them with that kind of um, treatments just sitting uh, asanas lying down asanas all those things and finally we will tell them that you are not disabled you are differently able yes differently able yes v very beautiful uh, words indeed 
And um, talking about yoga, uh, yes. specifically uh, yoga, I mean, someone with a disability, can they still practice uh, yoga? Yes, they can practice. Just by sitting or just by lying down, they can practice. We will tell them what and all the things they can, they can do just by lying down or just by sitting. All those things can be practiced by them. Yes. Dr. Auto? Uh, they tell you that yoga is practiced by n'importe qui personne, uh, person with a handicap. Too. Et euh, lui aussi, euh, bon, qui peut surtout connaître, qui a une quand il, euh, il a une disability ou bien même une personne qui est amputée, il est affecté lui mentalement. Du moment là, il est pénal self-confident. Alors, naturellement, il aide lui pour, pour gagner sa confidence là et il aide lui pour, euh, pour surmonter ça et aussi il aide lui mentalement. Et euh, il aide aussi faire un yoga, une position qui du moment là, qui a fait d'après sa capacité. I would like to ask you one more yes. question. Please uh, go ahead. Yes. Uh, you said that our body is made of five yes. elements. Yes. Okay. And uh, according to me, when there's a disbalance of the five elements, yes. then there's a disease. Yes. Can you give some examples for See, some elements? That is the mainly, uh, the main theory of Ayurveda. Mm. They say that we have made up of uh, kosha, I mean, uh, doshas, and disability in the dosha uh, causes the disease. A certain disability in the doshas causes um, lung diseases, respiratory diseases. Certain diseases, uh, deficiency in the doshas called, uh, causes uh, digestive diseases. So it is about the theory of uh, um, tridosha which comes under Ayurveda. So, as if, for example, if someone has a See, for example, yes, 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 yes. Uh, you, uh, you talked about five elements. Yes. If there is a, a less of water uh, uh, element, element. We, it causes uh, dehydration. Okay. So, for example, if we have a, a certain uh, deficiency in the earth property, we, yes. we have a lethargy or a muscle issues. Okay. 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 Yeah. Unfortunately, we are coming to the end of this uh, program. Uh, the last word, uh, Dr. Uh, we'll we'll start with uh, yes. Dr. Deepika. See, uh, nowadays we want everything like this. Chaka chak. Healing also chaka chak. Everyone, we want fast. This is a fast forward moving uh, world. But the I society that yes, we are living yes, in yes, right yes, now. Yes. What I suggest everyone is have some patience. Um, what um, treatment we offer is so no chakachak. It, no chak. <laughs> it, it takes time, but the t uh, but it is permanent. Okay, and what el uh, the elements we are using? It is from the nature. So you just preserve the nature. If you preserve and protect the nature, nature will help you in abundance. It will provide you health in abundance. So preserve nature. Hel uh, take help from the nature, and nature will help you. And finally, there is a shl shloka says, Sarve bhavantu sukinaha, Sarve santu niramaya, Sarve bhadrani pashyantu, Ma kaschit dukha bhag bhavet, Om shanti shanti shanti. It says, May all be happy, May all free from all the illness, May all see what is auspicious, May no one suffer. That's all. Thank you. Dr. Auto? Seki di janu ke... Ils ont dit tout le monde en vie un traitement bien vite. Ça est vrai dans dans à le partie aussi tout le monde les traitements bien vite. Ce qui docteur ce qui gagne d'un traitement plus vite la fait par chance plus bien se garde peut se peut raconter lui-même. Mais tout ça bande ça fait là ne pas qu'en fait les les à long terme il affecte nous. Yoga thérapie yoga et naturopathe ben là se traite doucement mais les permanent il traite racine de sa problème là même et dit permanent and uh, uh, et tout le monde vous apprend une patience pour faire le yoga uh, et naturopathie and i understand that it's a way of living yes. it's not just a therapy it's a yes. way of living ça yes. so, une façon de montrer nous une façon de manger une façon de vivre une façon de faire nous bande exercice et façon de dormir aussi comment l'expliquer tout à l'heure là c'est une façon de vivre et faire nous prévenir bande maladie le mot de la fin aussi et me remercie de tout et moi même me trouver qui naturopathe lui lui aide bande personne et moi pour 
conseil ban du monde qui vient vers nous, vient get docteur Dipika qui pour que nous deux fois par semaine euh, prendre rendez-vous vient get li pour tout ban euh, problème qui se là pour ban malade qui se tient là comment ban euh, douleur ban problème euh, euh, ban problème comment migraine tout ça ban problème là aussi les grave et douleur beaucoup façon. Docteur Pounit. Uh, my last words yes uh, as uh, Dr. Devla told it is the way of life. Okay, so to get a benefit, practice yoga, meditation and come and consult her to know about the natural way of living. With that, definitely we all put together can make this world a healthy life, healthy individuals, healthy family and healthy nation. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for accepting our invitation, Dr. Puneet Kumar uh, Bolugalu Padmaya. Uh, thank you, thank you uh, so very much, much uh, Dr. Deepika yes. uh, Devasya Shivaya, and uh, thank you, Dr. Yes. Devila Auto, yes. and we thank all our viewers. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you, and um, have a nice day ahead.